Shares of Google positive today, but underperforming on the year, down almost 4% amid concerns over threats to its core search business. But one executive there is now tamping down those fears. Dieter Bosa has the story in today's Tech Check. Hi, Dee. Hey, Tyler. So we got an update on the status and the resilience of search that could make the bears think twice. And there are a lot of bears these days. It was Alphabet's chief business officer, Philip Schindler. He spoke at Morgan Stanley's TMT conference just down the street from us here in San Francisco. And for all of those fears around other chatbots eating Google's lunch, he said that they've actually seen positive search query growth in all major markets over the last 12 months. And that as they experiment with SGE or search generative experience, that's like their chatbot light within traditional search. He said that they're still running ads above and below those results. So instead of this idea or fear that Google is going to cannibalize their cash cow search ads, they're incorporating Gen AI products into that business. So the big question, of course, though, what does that look like in the future? Well, Schindler said that he sees a world where there are Gen AI-based ads, as he calls them, integrated into generative AI answers. He believes that Google can create consumer and advertiser value over time by making ads more like commercial experiences. So they're thinking about it in a different way. And of course, the big advantage that they have is distribution, right? It's been rolling out generative AI features to billions of users already ready, um, maybe more accurate to say hundreds of millions of users, many of whom aren't actually looking for chatbots, but may be getting more familiar with them nonetheless. And Tyler and Courtney, I don't know if you've noticed some of these features. When you do Google searches, you have to opt in, but it'll show you. It'll give you like a little Gen AI answer. Have you noticed that? I haven't noticed that. That is interesting. It looks differently when it's a Gen AI answer? So sometimes it shows up as a box and it tries okay. to answer your question directly like it huh. would in a chat, but sometimes it's a button that says, would you like to see a generative oh. AI here? We've got a video of it oh, right okay. here. So look oh. out for, and I guess this is kind of like the bull and the bear case, right? Is that you have to maybe be looking for it, but the other case is that you're not looking for it, but you're getting comfortable with this kind of search. Huh. You may not even know it. And that's what it's all about, right? These changing habits right now and whether Google is going to be left behind. Can I ask, Dee, I mean, everything that, that, that's that gone on with sort of some of these AI snafus that we've been talking about yeah. with Gemini, and then yesterday we were talking about some of the Microsoft snafus. Has that sort of slowed any of the innovation in the rollouts with AI in other use cases for these companies specifically? Well, I don't think it has slowed anything down. But I mean, okay. in the case of Google, right, they right. wanted to do things boldly and responsibly. So they may have rush Gemini out earlier than they would have liked because they see what OpenAI, ChatGPT, Anthropic, all these other things are doing, only to have to pause it, right? So in this space, I think you have to allow for a certain amount of mistakes along the way, and they're certainly not unique to Google. You mentioned we talked about Copilot yesterday. I was at Salesforce's Trailblazer event yesterday talking to their head of AI, and she said that it just Things like this, these snafus, they don't slow them down. They just motivate her, Clara Shy, to continue to improve on it. And I guess mm. that's the message is that it's so early that we're going to see a lot more of this. Quick question, Dee. The, the genius of Google, I think most would agree, is how they have integrated advertising into the search product. How are they going to advertise, integrate advertising into the, uh, to the, the AI product? Tyler, you kind of hit the nail on the head there, right? They've been able to integrate advertising, and sometimes you don't even know if it's advertising. That's been to their right. benefit, and also some users don't like that at all. But that's exactly what Philip Schindler, their chief business officer, said that they're doing with generative AI. He says that they're providing that generative AI, generative AI answer. And they're still advertising above and below it. So they're not necessarily, like, disrupting their whole business model. They're just adding it in, and then critics would say, of course, that that's not enough. And ChatGPT has already become a verb, so maybe they need to do more.